old line watches fun boxing the odyssey hey there welcome to another episode of old line watches with you as always is this guy right here jeremy your old man from the old line state of maryland today we are reviewing a uh, bit of a throwback uh type of piece uh it's actually already been replaced by a new version even uh this would normally be what I call a fun boxing, where I do kind of an unboxing and a review all together of an older watch that I have owned, um, except I don't have the box for it. Picked it up in a trade, they didn't have the box, didn't care. So no actual fun boxing, but the spirit of it is the same. It is the Richard Legrand, uh, what is now RLG. Uh, they dropped the name and just went for initials instead. Uh, this is the Odyssey Mark II. Um, a spectacular diving watch, like the, the ridiculous spec monster. Like this is a fantastic, well-designed, original design micro brand that like swings right in there as far as like value goes right in there with like Pagani, San Martin, all those AliExpress brands that are just cranking stuff, cranking out homage designs, you know, they're doing their own and still I mean, what you get for the money is absurd. All right, like we do at the top of these videos, we're gonna take a moment to thank a few subscribers. Anu Card, Flaz 2K, which might also be some sort of flask spelling, and Sir Cat, K-A-T, Cat. Important distinction to make there. Be sure to hit the description for the latest and current giveaway for the Charles Hutton Long Bridge. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It's that easy. Also in the description are any links, coupon codes, uh, affiliate links, affiliate codes, any of that stuff that I find, even sometimes when I just find a good deal, you know, I'll put it up there. Like the last one was um, the Steel Casio Royale uh, for like $21 at Amazon. You know, if I find something cool like that, I'm gonna throw it in there. That one is over with, that sale's done. So don't go looking for that one, sorry. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna stats and specs. All right, let's dive right in here. We have here the Richard Legrand or RLG, which is their now known. This is the Odyssey Mark II edition. It is 41 millimeters in diameter, including the crown, it's a 45 millimeter with a lug to lug of 48.3 and no end link to end link measurement because it does have the female end links. We have a lug width of 20 that narrows down to 18. The watch itself is 14.1 mil thick counting the crystal. Weighs in at 154.5 grams sized on my six and three quarter inch wrist. It is powered by the workhorse the Seiko NH35, 41 hour power reserve, 24 joules, hacking, hand winding. Uh, you're probably all saying this along with me because, well, that's just what the micro brands love. The case is 316L stainless steel with horizontal brushing along the sides. A nice satin brushing there too, by the way. The lugs are vertically brushed and it features polished on the campfers to just add that little bit of class and elegance you know we are protected by a double dome sapphire crystal the crown is 6.9 millimeters in diameter screw down signed and it has like no no grit no resistance it just turns in and out really smoothly very well machined and matched the case back is a steel screw down case back featuring a pretty cool diver motif with the crossed anchors 200 meter water resistance featuring a oyster style strap with also satin brushing and it is actual links like segmented links so good flexibility and makes for a good comfortable fit solid end links as well figure i should mention that the clasp is milled scissor style 
with a signed clasp, double security pushers, and four holes of micro adjust, which definitely is greater than that link to link measurement, which is what it's supposed to be. On the dial, we've got applied everything. It is a very shallow applied indices there, uh, but they are all loom filled and you'll see how well their loom is filled very soon. We've got Arabex at 36912 and standard batons elsewhere. A pretty nondescript minute track there with a triangle up at the 12. We've got the RL Richard Legrand under the 12. Again, they have changed their name to RLG. And above the 6, we've got the Odyssey Automatic 200 meters. It also features a completely vertical rehout in there. which makes it look like the dial sits up higher than it does, despite the fact that it's actually pretty sunk in there. We've got pencil style or fence post hands if you prefer. They are both generously loom filled and the second hand has a little diamond pip of loom there as well. The bezel is ceramic, 120 click unidirectional with really good snappy movement, just the right amount of resistance. Very, very happy time. Lines up just right. And the bezel is ceramic, I think I already said that, and loomed. And zoomy, zoomy, zoom, take a look at that loom. My goodness gracious. I, I mm. it's just delicious looking. It's really well done. It's tastefully done. There's a whole, whole lot of it to make loom hogs like me really, really happy. Just, <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't be happier with this loom. That's just about freaking perfect. And as you can see, this thing is running almost perfectly. Minus four seconds per day, very strong amplitude, very minimal beat error. That's a... Uh, that's what happens when you regulate them before you send them out. Yeah. And here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. It fits super comfy. Doesn't uh, doesn't sit too big. Doesn't uh, overhang. Just fits really, really well and presentably. All right, props and slops. Uh, props, mm, this could take a while. Uh, for props, we, we've got the, the fact that this thing is an utter spec monster, ceramic bezel, uh, you know, loomed all to heck, quality Seiko movement, the bracelet is just outstandingly made. It, it, it's, it's really, really, I mean, it is one of the most perfect budget watches you can get. And these things are still only selling for, you know, depending on what sort of options and stuff you go with, I want to say three to four hundred bucks. Which means on the used market, you can knock a hundred bucks off of that most of the time. So that, that puts them bang alongside, like, say, San Martin, uh, and you're getting something without the onus of the Chinese manufacturer. It is just really, really great. Uh... Slops, I, uh, I mean, not not even the bracelet flex is is actually pretty great. Uh, uh it's got a it's got a ghost date position because it uses an NH35. Ha ha! I found a slop. Um, mm, other slops though, mm, I really don't know. I, I mean, I kind of uh, kind of preferred it uh, that they'd kept the regular Richard Legrand and maybe just put like an RLG above it instead of just completely wiping the Richard Legrand off and just being RLG watches uh, but that's not really part of this watch it's just something I wanted to gripe about uh, yeah I got nothing man this thing's really great that was my Richard Legrand Odyssey Mark II uh, fantastic timepiece. I, I, again, I can't recommend this thing highly enough. 
Well, I just erased like two minutes solid of me just staring at the camera with nothing to say. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. This has been your old man from the old line state signing off. <laughs>